Oh my god, people, we actually have a ban list. Except it's not Konami's, it's ARG's. Yeah. Konami, where the fuck is the ban list? Like, niggas. Like, I get that you made the post and it's like, oh, well, we gotta do a little bit more research. So, you know, we're gonna take our time. So we're not gonna put any restriction dates. That's just the bullshit method way of saying, we're gonna change to the ban list whenever the fuck we want. Fuck you guys. We're not on your schedule. So, ugh, Konami. I just want to go down to your building. There's a building in Vegas, across town. Get in my car and get a freaking rocket launcher and just shoot it and blow up that damn building. I, oh, my God. So still waiting on that ban list from Konami, of course. So ARG seems like, I don't know, it seems like they're just on the kind of step away from Konami or they're just getting plain old impatient. But ARG has made their own ban list. And what does this mean? It means that it seems like they're kind of, you know, kind of step away from Konami and kind of take their own form of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? I mean, they already have their own tournaments, you know? You have your originals, your YCSs and stuff like that. But then you have your ARGs, and, you know? Uh, generally, ARGs, I feel, are funner, you know? You don't have to deal with all of Konami's bullshit all the time, and, you know, it's nice to go ahead and have someone competent hold Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. AI fucking ARG. So they're just like, you know what, fuck it. Let's create our own list. So not only do they have their own tournaments, but at these tournaments, they have their own list. And I'm going to go over this list, of course. I'm going to give my opinions about each thing. Uh, they have a little bit of talk about, you know, the, why they did the choices they made. Oh my god, you mean they actually talked about what the choices they made? Hmm. Konami, you should probably think about doing that. <laughs> you know, you put up this freaking thing post about, you know, how, you know, we want to do more research and we want to think, but then you don't fucking give us the reason why. And it's like, oh, well, you're always wondering uh, why we do those things. Like, why'd they hit that? Well, maybe if you fucking told us why you hit us, maybe you wouldn't be wondering. Fucking Konami? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be ranting about Konami in this freaking video. This video has nothing to do with Konami. This is ARG's list. So, still waiting on uh, the Konami event list, the TCG list, and hopefully we get it soon. And of course, as soon as we get it, I will be doing a video discussing. I get my opinions, but for now, let's go ahead and go down this list. So this is the ARG list. So this is the list that shall be used in ARG tournaments. So uh, starting it off, bam, the general release of rituals. That is totally fine. Uh, the general release of rituals is a card that should totally be banned. It's you know, it's totally uh, worthy of being banned and. You know, no complaints there. You know, Konami, if you want to copy that one, sure. You know, I'm totally fine with that. All right, next, Fusion Gate. Yes, yeah, Fusion Gate, because if you see down here, you got Elemental Hero Stratos, the Return of Stratos, and, you know, Bubble Man Hit as well. But, uh, yes, the Return of Fusion. I mean, the banning of Fusion Gate. Fusion Gate's always been kind of a sacky card. You know, now it has two sacky decks under its belt. Electro TK, which you guys probably forgot about, and um, Bombardment Bird, where, of course, they keep on fusing the tokens made from that Tomahawk ship with the... Uh, with the... First, they, you know, they just kind of, like, what, insta-fusion of a, a pyro-type monster, then contact, burn you, then contact that, that Bombardment Bird with another token, burn you, burn... So, Fusion Gate, sacky in two decks, so banning Fusion Gate will definitely go ahead and clear up uh, that... Saki ass FDK. So I really never thought about Fusion Gate. You know, I saw the the Bombardment Bird FDK, but I kind of just thought, you know, if you hit Bombardment Bird, then you don't have to worry about that anymore. But Fusion Gate's always been kind of the uh, Saki card. You know, it's not like anybody really uses it unless they plan on being Saki. So you know, if they want to hit Fusion Gate, hit Fusion Gate. If you want to go ahead, but you know, you got ban Fusion Gate. You can't even put it down to one. You got to ban it because they only use one. You have to ban it. You know, Bombardment Bird, you could just cut that down to one. You could just leave Fusion Gate alone. So if anybody wants to use Fusion Gate and your heroes are some kind of Fusion deck, then go right ahead. Just hit Bombardment Bird down to one. So I'd rather hit Bombardment Bird than hit Fusion Gate, but I, that's a fine choice because I guess they're like, hey, if you bring up Stratos, then here comes a lot of OTK. Like, they couldn't do it without Stratos, but, you know. But if you, if you hit Fusion Gate, then there's no more Electrum OTK either. So there you go. So, you know, two Saki decks for the price of one card. Next, the Lolo Chain. All right, Lava Chain banned. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give my opinion about how I feel about Lava Chain, and I, I talked about it before a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and actually talk about Lava Chain. Does Lava Chain deserve to be banned? That is the question, and it, it, it is the 2500. What is it? The 25,000 pyramid? That's an old ass show. Question right there. Lava Chain is powerful because it extends plays. For future plays. But is it a busted monster? Not per se. It's powerful because yes. It is a foolish burial. And foolish burial is at one. And if you ask me. 
I'd say Slow Chain should probably just be limited. You know, generally people run one level of chain, they use one level of chain, and if you want to go ahead, take two monsters, XC into a level of chain, which is already a neg, and then use its effect to send a monster to the graveyard, which doesn't net you a plus, or put a monster on top of your deck, which doesn't net you a plus. Like, the level of chain is just blatantly a neg. It sets you up, but it's a neg. At one, it's fine. It's just when... It's generally just the sacky decks of the decks that I really want to explode and overextend use multiples, you know, like Clown Blade and, uh, you know, Infernities. Uh, so, multiple of all chains? I'd say no. You know, if you want to go ahead and limit Lavalva Chain, I think that's fine. But I guess they're just like, you know what, fuck it, Banner. I think they posted something about Lavalva Chain uh, down below. So, you know, let's just go ahead and scroll down and see what they have to say about Lavalva Chain. All right, Jijin, we already talked about him, so let's go ahead. Jijin Literature Rituals. Oh, and they banned Vanity's Emptiness as well. Uh, uh, there were three cards that were almost, if not all, the committee lists, and these are the two of them, probably. No surprise there. Uh, these cards do not allow you to play the game and make the games less fun. You know, definitely. Uh, if I want to go ahead and ban Vanities, I wouldn't care, but I personally just think it's fine at one for right now, so. Uh, so... Um, we already talked about Fusion Gate, and, you know, they hit Bubble Man down to one to bring back Stratus, so I uh, restricted to one, Strat uh, Bubble Man. Uh, with bringing back Stratus, we had to hit a couple of cards. We felt heroes would be too powerful. One community member wanted Bubble Man banned as well and put Stratus to three. No. No. Uh, Stratos, it, I already talked about Stratos before. Stratos is not only powerful for the search, but it's also powerful for that destruction. They didn't bring back Heavy Storm or anything like that, so... Stratos is a once per turn, and it's just when it's summoned, so literally you could just be like, triple call a hunter, triple oasis, during your end phase, summon Stratos, I have a hero, pop that back right, you know, so, it's not like an odd way of MST, you know, also 18 beater, it also searches, and it's not once per turn, so Stratos is worthy of being banned, but like I said, if they want to go ahead and bring it back, you're going to have to make corrections, like I said, Bubble Man banned Stratos at 3, no, no, because Stratos can search itself, so no, <laughs> Stratos to 1, uh, I think Bubble Man to 1 is a little bit harsh, just because OTG put Bubble Man down to 1, and the next let's say put him up to 2, because you can't really do anything with 1 Bubble Man, you know? Um, I always feel that Stratos is not the problem card of the deck, since reinforcements, the army, and the emergency call are unrestricted anyways. If Bubble Man becomes a problem that we will look at into the future, also, we ban Fusion Gate to avoid the OTK with Blaze Phoenix, yep, and the combos with Heroes, so, Electrum OTK. So, my personal opinion, if you want to bring Stratos back, I think that you should go ahead and put Bubble Man to two. Two Bubble Man. Two is fine. You know, just like the other two is fine. And lower, if you're going to give them back Stratos without lowering their consistency, because pretty much I don't even think people are crying about the popping and shit. They want Stratos back for the consistency means. Hitting Bubble Man, hit their consistency, you know? They can keep the Rota at three. Everybody has their at three. Hit the emergency call down to one. OCG, they have three emergency calls, one Rota. Here, we'd have three Rota, one E emergency call. So it'd be the exact same the way that OCG has it, and two Bubble Man. So, Bubble Man at one, and you trade off Stratos for Bubble Man. For two Bubble Man. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm talking about there. Here we go. Here's the level chain. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the level chain. So, level chain. Almost every member wanted this card banned, and the ones that did not want it banned, wanted it restricted to one. Yeah. yeah. Restricted to one. And one... Remember, x Medicine, he said it is constantly the, the center piece of degenerate FTK, blue blended only, uh, overpowered combo decks, Infernity, and uh, Strategy Locks. I guess. I mean, the Strategy Locks, you banned a gym. If you banned a gym, then I'm not even worried about it. You know, you can have your Lava Chain. Uh, Infernities with one? You know, they still can run Armageddon Knight and Dark Grifer, and they're still a hit a lot. Like I said, I haven't seen if he moved anything or when it comes to Infernities, but. You know, multiple level chains, bad. One level chain, fine. Blue button only, one level chain. It's not like you can just go level chain, detach chain, level chain, detach chain, level chain. Like no, 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 no. Once, once, just like foolish. I'm putting the same boat as foolish. So, I guess uh, they just decide to go with the majority, where everybody's like, you know what, this card should be banned, and then just like in uh, Seema's video, where everybody's saying, you know, the level chain should be banned. So there you go. So that's our explanation for the level chain banned. All right, moving on. We have Necros of Trishula. All right, I've seen this on one of the uh, supposed leak lists with uh, Necros of Trishula being banned, and definitely it is the bite of the deck. You know, uh, generally when it comes to Necros, who's the one you're most afraid of is definitely Trishula, and uh, you know they tried to crack Trishula, 
by just being it's like you're required to send from all three places, but you know, still all three places are just ridiculous. You summon Necro to Trishula. Graveyard technically doesn't count when it comes to banishing, but you're taking something out of your opponent's hand and on the field, they are neg tooing. That hurts. That hurts bad, so uh you know, there's all here of course other Necros monsters that have bite, maybe Necros will start running more of um Gunnir just because Gunnir, you know, gets to pop and it's kinda like a you know, a one for one, it evens out, it's much more balanced, you know, during the player's turn, pitch a Necros card, pop something, uh, powerful effect, but it's much more balanced than just trishing your opponent, because, you know, clearly, Trish is still banned here, the regular Trish, so, you know, you make a new Trish for just the ritual base, and still kind of bust it, so, um, if OCG wants to, I mean, if Konami, OCG, OCG didn't do anything, if OCG wants to go ahead and ban Trish, I just want to see what, ne what Necros are without Trish, you know, I, I'm not... Uh, necros enthusiasts, I don't know much about Necros, but, you know, from what I've seen, it seems like Necros is... I've seen Trish be a big bite of the deck, so if they wanted to go ahead and ban that, I want to see what the deck would do without Trish. Alright, Royal Magical Library, yes, that's definitely the other card that, you know, out of all these cards on this list right here, the General Witcher Rituals and Royal Magical Library, I think definitely are the two cards that should be banned. You know, it's a Saki card, it's always been a Saki card, and it's not, you don't even play it as a proper card, you're literally just playing just to FTK your opponent, because it's a zero attack monster, why would you ever summon that attack mode? Just because you activate spell cards and draw a whole bunch and draw, 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 so, no. And Vending Emptiness, okay, so, I'm guessing that, like, they sat down with the panel people, and the majority said, you know what, this is a sacky unhealthy card, just like Jujin, let's go ahead and ban it, so, okay, okay. So, I'm guessing the three cards that people wanted banned were Jujin really serve which also Wall of Chain, and Vending Emptiness. Uh, what do they have to say about Trishula? I want to read that. Trishula. One community member wrote that Trisha is so much more powerful than every other card that is currently legal and is the only part of Necros that makes it so dominant. If we ever ban that card, Necros is still a playful deck, but it's not the dominant deck. I, I want to see that. I really want to see that. Alright. And there are posts about Royal Magical Library. This is a preemptive ban. Uh, this was also the third card that every committee member wanted banned. Oh, okay. So, it was Royal Magical Library <laughs> banning these emptiness and, uh, well, maybe not Vanny is emptiness. Maybe maybe just the Jin, Low Level Chain, and Royal Magic Library. Uh, wanted ban uh, with the cards that are coming out for this uh, for this deck. Uh, we do not want to have OTKs. They don't want those OTKs. They don't want the OTKs. They want that Zacky shit. So, okay. So, went ahead and uh, banned Royal Magic Library. So, uh, bans overall, not terrible. You know, Jin, yes. Fusion Gate, I guess. You know, that's that's a fine way to go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. So, that's fine. Bobo Chain, like I said, I think Limited might be fine, but if you want to go ahead and ban it, I guess. Uh, Necros of Trisha, I want to see this, uh, just because I'm curious, because I've never seen a Necros deck really do much without summoning Trish, you know? They kind of search and kind of build up and get ready to summon Trish, but, you know, without Trish, I want to see that. Run Magic Library, yes, and Vanities, I guess. Alright, so those are all their bans. Not bad, not bad. Alright, next, going on to Restricted to 1. So, sorry enough, Sir, yes. I am in agreement. I think if you want to hit Burning Mist, hit Sir, because Sir loops with Dante. Loops with Dante over and over and over again. So, you know, that was on the what I would like to see on my list. Uh, if you want to go ahead and see that, if you haven't seen that video already, link is in the description. But there's a handful of things uh, that I said already on that on that video, on this list. So, yeah. Uh, El Shadal Contract. Yes, that is Shadal Hit. El Shadal Fusion. I said, I think maybe two. I think one's a little bit too far, just because if you hit the deck's consistency of fusion too much, it becomes dead. Because at this point, no one's running Nep uh, all Fusion. Uh, so it would literally be three Shadal Fusions, and, th and they're not, sometimes they're not even running three of that, just because El Shadal Fusion. So I guess it would put uh, uh, you know, regular Shadal Fusion up to three back in deck. One El Shadal Fusion, that's four fusion cards. You know, Hedgehog, I hope you guys put in that work. I think, cause if you don't open up with any of your fusion cards, what are you doing? You're setting monsters and being slow. You're being a slow flip deck. So, you know, I beat a Trotoals a handful of times just because I never get a fusion card. So, uh, I think maybe two just to not kill the deck. Absolutely. Construct the one, definitely. But maybe El Shadal Fusion to two. But they put it down to one. So, maybe that'll post about that. Like I said, Bubble Mander two. And like I said, they're the, and this is the funny one. I'm the one that's usually really conservative. They're being more conservative than me. <laughs> They're like kicking Sadal's in the nuts right now. But, you know, at least they didn't absolutely kill it like OCG did. So like I said, maybe Bowman to two, Stratos to one, okay. Insta Fusion, alright. They had that before. Uh, uh, you know, Noden. Mistake down to one. I don't say, I've never been a big fan of hitting Mistake. I always kind of felt like it was a more balanced card, especially compared to Mind Crush, which of course you don't have. 
Minecrush is broken. Minecrush is absolutely broken at three. I've been able to activate Minecrush and see your opponent's hand just because they played their deck, just because they search. Look in their opponent's hand, pick out any copies, and then if you have multiple Minecrush, activate those Minecrushes and call other shit in your opponent's hand and completely wreck their hand just because you get Minecrush, just because they played their deck and searched like Konami wanted their deck to do? No. You know, mistake, I feel like it's a double-edged sword. You can't search, your opponent can't search. If your opponent, if your deck is a deck that searches, then decks that don't search have a lower consistency, they slow you down by playing Mistake. You can always chain MST to Mistake. You can't really chain, you can chain mind, MST to Minecraft all you want, you're still getting Minecraft, you know. And there's already a card that's just like Mistake. It's called Deck Lockdown, except it's for two turns. So, I don't know, and they're making another Quick Play spell that's just like Mistake, that's for one turn, so. I don't know. Like I said, Mistake, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think Minecraft is the one that should be at one. Uh, Unicorn, Necros a Unicorn, okay. You know, Despite them saying, you know, ban Trish, they're just like, uh, well, Trish is the problem, let's go ahead, and that's it, you know, they still hate Unicorn. I'm guessing that's the majority rule, because the majority of the time when they ask, you know, what should be hitting Necros, majority of the time it's mostly Unicorn, so, okay. And then, Windups and Mighty coming back, uh, that's fine. Windups can have some cards back. It seems like, it seems like it's Windups' turn. I don't know, you know, uh, Blackwing's got all their crap back, uh, you know, Glad's got their card. It seems like it's Windup's turn to go ahead and start getting some cards back. So, I don't even care. Carrier can go to one. Alright, so do you have anything to say about cards restricted down to one now since I talked about them all? Alright, so, uh, Sir. So, Sir. Oh, and they also they put Dante down to two. Yeah, I, I said that. I said that. Sir, sir to one, Dante to two. With hitting Necros, Burning Abyss becomes the main contender and leaving it untouched with... Leave it too strong, yes. So looping Dante is what gives Burning Abyss all their end. Yes. Burning Abyss games usually end uh, when they run out of service to loop. Yes. Uh, for this reason, we restricted Dante to two. Okay. Uh, when Burning Abyss run out of Dante, it's difficult to make plays. Yes. Uh, I'd say number one hit, Sir. Sir is number one hit. If they want to put Dante down to two, I'm fine with that, but it's just a Dante looping Sir. So, you know? I'm worried that if you hit Sir... They're going to, of course, rely on Dante a little bit more, and, you know, with only two Dantes, I feel like they're going to patter out much faster. So, I'm afraid to kill the deck, but I think Sir, yes, Dante, sure. You know, that's fine. All right, Alshadal Fusion, Restrict to 1, and Alshadal Contract, yeah. With Hating Burning Abyss and Necros, uh, we also didn't want Shadals to become too powerful. Uh, uh, this is why we uh, they also touched um, Shadals, okay. You didn't really explain why you went that far. It just seems like, I'm assuming it's majority rule, where majority of people said, Alshadal Fusion and Construct. I see the Construct, like I said, Alshadal Fusion. Trick the one, Prince of the hit, but nothing coming out would be too powerful. I'm in agreement, but, you know, let's see. They're not money hungry like Konami, so who cares? All right. Oh, the time of mistake. Mistake. Mistake is a floodgate card, and having three of, of a floodgate card that has, uh, has not been a good thing. It completely shuts down decks from playing the game. No, it doesn't. It just prevents you from searching. You don't search, I don't search. So, it doesn't, it doesn't completely shut down decks from playing. Just don't search. It's your fault for searching so much. It's your fault for being the more consistent deck. Sorry. Because generally, what are the, be what are the best decks in Yu-Gi-Oh? Consistent decks. How you can counter consistent deck? With, <laughs> with mistake, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Necros Unicorn. Almost every single community member wanted this card restricted to one because of its negation effect. Uh, there's other things too. It's negation effect. It's sending for a herald set up the Jujin lock with you know um, a Manju or a Senju, um, and of course the pitching to get Brio back. You know, I'm surprised you didn't hit Brio down to one too. Just lower the deck consistency. Especially since you didn't hit Manju or Senju. At least I didn't see you hit Manju or Senju. I didn't even check. So maybe that's only semi All right. Uh, oh, and then you put Magician up to two. Wind up carries a mighty one. Wind up Magician to two. I'd be okay with that. Almost every member wanted windups to come back. If the deck goes first, it loses consistency because of only starting with five cards in hand. You cannot loop them for their entire hand like past days. Some members want a magician to go up to three. Others have more than one to go up to two. Yeah, for now, two. And we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, windups aren't as powerful as they used to be just because they don't have the toolbox that they used to have. They really can't, you know, <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me, hunter loop you. Like they were able to in the past, so you know, I guess you know, wind up carrier to one, one midget from two. I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with that for the uh, return. All right, so it seems like those are the limiteds to talk about. So let's go ahead. Let's go to semi limited. So Dante, I already talked about that. Dragon V, yeah, that can go up to two. Want it? That can go up to two. Rescue. 
I don't like Roger Rabbit that too. I said I just the majority, but uh, any f- I, really, really, I probably just being a little bit biased on this, and I I try to stay as unbiased as possible. I don't like Dino Rabbit because I don't like Logia because I don't like monsters like that. I don't like Logia. I don't like Harold. I don't like Infinity. Any monster with effect negation like that, where it just negate anything, like that's it's a little powerful, you know. You take an effect of solemn judgment, one of the best counter, tra- the one of the best trap cards on Wii U, and slapping it onto a monster, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I guess I guess in this majority rule, like I said, as I bring Rabbit up to two, and I see more Dino Rabbits and smack someone, but I'm not sure if Dino Rabbit can keep up with the current meta. Depending on how hard it could hurt the current decks, I mean, a first turn Rabbit, someone in Logia sets in back row, that hurts. So, yeah. Uh, Summer's Art two, that's fine. Get Cleese. Toronto up to two. I mean, Toronto is a powerful card, you know. When, when you sit down and you look at Regeki, Dark Hole, and Torrental, Torrental is probably one of the stronger cards uh, just because it can be played during your opponent's turn. You know, you can react during your opponent's turn. You know, Regeki and Dark Hole, of course, they're only their spell speed one. They can only be played during your turn, so they can't react to things that are already happening. Well, Torrental, it can. So, uh, I probably wouldn't move Torrental up. I you know. I kind of put it in the same boat as Bottomless and Warning and Compulse, Torrental. Uh, Ring of Destruction, they're all very powerful trap cards that are worthy at one, but they'll probably pose some of that in Round Up Edition 2. Alright, and a little more longer restricted Chaos Sorcerer. I guess, like I said, I like I like the BLS at 1 Chaos Sorcerer at 2 dynamic, just like the Regeki at 1 Dark Hole at 2 dynamic, you know. So unless, and, and the only way I would want that to change is if you go ahead and ban the strong card and then you could push that to 3. So BLS ban Chaos Sorcerer at 3? Sure. Regeki ban Dark Hole at 3? Sure. But not BLS at one, Carrot Sorcerer at three. No. Regeki at one, Dark Hole at three? No. Torrental at two? No. That's too much. That's way too much destruction. You know? You 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 already kicked the living shit at, out of out of Necros and Shadals and Burning Abyss. So the decks that will kind of step up in their place will get destroyed by uh back row. Uh Glow Above can go through sure and Sacred Sword Seven Stars up to three. That's fine. So no Telenite hits, huh? I mean, I get that maybe you don't feel like they're that strong, but Telenite should be hit. You know, they were they were dominant in the beginning of the format, and they've always been at least top five. That's enough to get hit, you know. Uh, and they've been around for a year. But, you know, it really doesn't really care about making money. They just want to make the game more balanced in their own way. So, uh, you know, you hit Shadals. I thought Shadals and Telenites are in the same boat. Like, if you hit Shadals, you should hit Telenites. You know, you hit Necros. You hit Burning Abyss. You hit... You hit Cleese a little bit. You should have probably hit lose one turn. <laughs> you know, you probably hit lose one turn. Like I said, if this was actually the list, I would make Cleese. I would make Cleese in the heartbeat. All I, oh, what? My summoner's right went down from three to two? Shocked. Triple lose one turn. Get wrecked. You know? So, I would play Cleese. Like, and Teller Knights, unhit. Nothing. So, still, triple Rota, triple Deneb, triple Altair, triple Triv. Get fucking looped. Get fucking Triv looped. <laughs> Uh, uh, what else? What else? Uh, I'm, Ritual Bees probably don't need to be hit, but, you know, they're still in the top six, and they fluctuate. Uh, you know, maybe you could drop, maybe, like, Conahawk down to, like, two, because it seems like they use three, and Conahawk is the kind of stupid one, so, maybe two? I'd be, th- I'd be fine with that. I'm not predicting it, but if you want to go ahead and hit Ritual Bees, I'll take Conahawk to two as a nice first initial hit, because they did start moving up Definitely, it started turning to infernity. So, being a little bit, maybe I'm being a little bit biased, but you know, Conor Hopkins is fine. Uh, uh, anyway, let's see what they have to say about the rest of their hits. So, scroll down, scroll down. Dragon Veen. The Dragon Veen is gone. This card is not problematic. It gives Dragon Veen a chance to come back. The members even argue that it should go up to three. We felt safer putting it to two. Uh, it has the potential of. of Taking it to three, yeah, that's fine. Put it to two, see what it does. Nothing, move up to three. You know, as long as dragon is gone. The only problem is, of course, dragon re- dragon related decks sending to graveyard, but they have dragon shrine, which is you know just as good. Actually, maybe better in some decks. Dragon Veen is good because it's a constant sending every single turn. You know, unless you're playing Dragon Veen, it's just constant sending every single turn. A dragon shrine, on the other hand, uh, you immediately play if you're running any normal dragon, you get to send an additional one. So it's literally. Uh, but you gotta discard a card with Dragon Veen, that's the problem. So Dragon Veen 
If, if you're just running a pure dragon deck and you want to send dragons to the graveyard, I'd rather run Dragon Shrine because Dragon Shrine is a neg one, while Dragon Arena is technically a neg two because you neg when you activate it and then you neg when you discard to send. So, yeah, you know, so Dragon Ruler is gone, Dragon Arena can go up to three. I don't even care. Oops. <laughs> All right, so. Next, Insector Horn. All right, every commander wanted Insectors to make some sort of comeback, and it's just a matter of how. Some people wanted Horned Ban and Dragonfly three, and that duck would be dead. <laughs> that kind of what makes what makes Insectors good is that popping effect, that that destruction. Because you know it's that when destruction's not good, Insectors. I mean, you don't really see Insectors much, but mm -mm. so for Insectors to be good, they need that destruction. So now, uh, some wanted Dragonfly and Horn to both go to two, but most members thought that that could become too powerful in that case. Yes. And the majority of people wanted to only change the deck to take Hornet to two, and that was the path that was taken. That's fine. Two to three. I don't care. No one cares. You can have your damn Hornet, as long as Dragonfly is the one I want, because Dragonfly is the OP one. Because being able to summon another Insector from... There's Dragonfly. Equip on Equip Pop. Summon uh, uh, Centipede. Equip on Equip Pop. Search for a Dragonfly. And then rinse and repeat? Like, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So, that's fine. Uh... Number two, a majority of the committee want this card to come back, and it's just a matter of how many copies. The tour guide being restricted to one, he thought this card could come back, and we did not want to take it to three yet. I kind of put Rabbit and Tour Guide in the same boat. You know, summoning from the deck for no cost at all? That's powerful. I mean, even Summoner Monk, it's powerful. So, I don't know. I feel like they're both in the same boat. Alright, so I'm going to start to two. A majority of the committee want this card to hit, just a matter is to put it at one or two. Uh, more than one at two for now with the release of Wavering Eyes, it may put Cleese over the top, so we may have to look at the deck. What's Wavering Eyes? Is that that one card that destroys the background? I mean, the, the Pendulum Zones? I think it is, but alright, we'll have to see. Like I said, if this was the list, I'd play Cleese. You know, Summers are only at two, and you didn't hit freaking uh, lose one turn. Mm. Alright, turn to be most committees want this card to go to two at least, if not three. Uh, we felt that taking it to two was safe. Uh, there is currently a lot of mass removal in the format, so it should be okay to come back to two. No. No, it's because it's the better of them. I'd even take, I'd even say Trundle's better than Regeki just because I can respond on your turn. So I can hit you while you're setting up your plays. I mean, sure, Regeki's not because I hit your field, but what if it's too late? You know, what if it's too late? I, no, no. Trundle should stay at one. Never. I don't even know. I said OCG is super level and they have three Trentals. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's because they're a faster uh, kind of game, you know. Uh, they're faster, so they can commit more to plays. But on the other hand, we're more of a control type. And triple Trental? Oh, you're going to run out of resources real quick. All right. No longer on the list. Uh, no longer on the list. Gas Rester, uh, Dark Hole, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Dark Hole is not even getting played at its maximum capacity now. It's uh, taking it to three should not matter. What are you talking about? I'll see a ton of people, either main deck or side deck, two Dark Holes, especially with the Jujin lock. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. So, I personally won't care if Dark Hole goes to three, but I just think that, you know, two Torrentals, three Dark Holes, and a Regeki, that's way too much destructions. You know, destructions started to fall out of popularity when, you know, the top decks like Barney Abyss and Shadals, uh, you know, with the top decks, or if you hit them with destruction, it didn't really matter, you know. But, you know, now since those car you hit those decks and they, you know, they're trying to step away, it seems like Destruction would go back up in popularity, and it, uh, definitely with Necros being the top deck, it has. So, it doesn't seem like you should put up Destruction anymore, especially with hitting Necros. It seems like you should step away from it, but hey. Anyway, Cashester gets to come back to try and bring back some light dark variants. I guess you want that variety. Dragon Warriors Advanced Secretary Concerns no longer. Uh, as impressive as the one side's guard book, if that can only be used uh, once in a game. So we thought bringing it back to three wouldn't change that much at all. Like I said, I'm guessing that Konami doesn't want to bring guard book back to max zone just because, you know, it's still a tuner and you can still use the fact. So it would just consist increase the consistency of guard book. So you can, of course, still use guard book as a regular tuner, but then, you know, you get its effect once per duel. So I guess they just don't want to increase the consistency of guard book. I don't know. I don't know. I personally, I think it, I could think it could go on three. It's not going to change much. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, bans are fine. Limiteds are mostly fine. Like I said, I'd rather have Mind Crush than Mistake. Uh, you didn't hit Teller Knights. At all. At all. You didn't hit Lose One Turn, so please. I'd say, I'd say with this list, like I said, I'm not sure, I can't really put a gauge on, on Necros just because I don't know how well they'll be without, uh, Trish. 
uh, so Church Band, Unicorn down to one. So you still have your Triple Menji, your Triple Senju, your Triple Rota, your Triple Shriet. Um, but you lost one of your uh, your warrior targets being Trishula, of course. Uh, you still have two Brios, one Unicorn. Seems like the deck's okay. You didn't hit Cycle, so you didn't hit any of the Mirror, so you still have those, of course. Hmm. Uh, Burning Abyss, I think they're probably pretty hurt. You know, they can't loop the hell out of Sir and Dante. You know, because like, people are like, oh, well, Graf summons from the deck, but then Graf summons Sir, and then Sir summons Dante. You know, it just puts up more, and puts up more walls for you to get through, which makes one of the Burning Abyss one more powerful decks, because it's hard to get through them all, you know. So, I said Sir to one, Dante to two. I said that, and I said, I'm not sure about Dante 2 just because I feel like that hurts a little bit too much, especially with only one Sir. It, it seems like they're going to be crutching on Dante a lot more with Sir at 1, because they just can't get like, oh yeah, Sir, so summon that Dante, you know? Because now Dante has to pretty much put that Dante, because, you know, if you summon your two Dantes and you're out of Dantes, and you're out of Sirs, I said GG Burning Abyss, you know? So, mm. uh, Constructor 1, Fusion 1. I said Constructor 1, yeah, I should have Fusion 1, maybe 2, just because... One El Shadow Fusion, three Shadow Fusion. You know they're probably gonna have to start playing Nap Shadow Fusion because that's not enough fusion in the deck, not even close. And probably running some more Hedgehogs because they they need they need a fuse or not anything. Uh, Bubble Man to uh, Heroes. And I said uh, I probably put Bubble Man to two and E call down to one, just like what OCG has, just a different variant. But you know go ahead and see that. Uh, Insta Fusion's fine. Like I said Mind Crash over mistake. Uh, you didn't hit Teller Knights at all, so Teller Knights are going to be really good. Especially banning, banning these emptiness, banning mistake, banning mistake. I mean, any mistake down to one. Banning, banning these emptiness, yeah, Teller Knights are going to be really good. Same thing with Cleese. Same thing with Cleese. You didn't hit lose one turn. Yeah. I give this list like. 7? 7.5? Yeah. Like I said, I would run Cleese. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Summer Zart to, to 2. Alright. Summer's Art to two. That's fine. I can take that hit. Uh, mistake getting hit, so you don't, you know, I don't have to worry about you not hitting me with hitting me. I don't have to worry about you with hitting me mistake and stopping my searches. Uh, uh, lose one turn, still at three. You increase destruction, which of course I'm running Cleese, so I'm unfazed by. You know, even with Teller Knights, you can still kind of hit him with destruction. Just you know, they have a lot of revival, so it kind of doesn't phase them much. But please, I'm just gonna go back to the extra deck and get Pendulum Summon right back. So. You know, Wigeki, three Dark Holes, two Torrentals, and I'm using Cleese. Like, I'm going to keep up. I'm gonna, And I would totally do that. I would run all of them. All of them. Triple Dark Hole. Dark Hole, Dark Hole, Dark Hole. Because you're running out of resources. Your monsters are getting destroyed. They're going to the graveyard. You're running out of resources. All I got to do is pressure to summon my shit back. You know, push for my OTK. So, yeah, I'd run Cleese. Cleese. Yeah. Cleese and Teller Knight seem like they're going to be like, err, in this freaking format. Yeah. And, yeah. So there you go, there's ARG Slice. I apologize if this video is so long, but you know, I want to give my opinion, read their opinions, and I want to get your guys' opinion in the comment section below. So we actually have a list, it's just not the list that we're waiting for. So, uh, you know, when Konami says that they're still looking and doing research, if they want to go ahead and take a look at ARG's list and get some ideas off of here, I would totally recommend it. Uh, there's a lot of good shit on here. It's not perfect. Like I said, I'd give it like a 7.5 because you still didn't do anything with Tower Knights. You left Cleese a little bit too easy. There's too much destruction. And, uh, yeah. So, I, and you, you didn't hit Minecraft. <laughs> you know, you didn't hit Lose Bottom Turn. You didn't hit Minecraft, in, which are, like, what? The two most powerful trap cards for this format? And you didn't hit neither one of them? I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm done. This video is long. I apologize. I'm long-winded on a talk. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think about ARG's list in the comment section below. And I will be sure to go ahead and review Konami's T July TCG list. If it is July, shit. They said coming soon, and it's been like almost a week. So, hurry up. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>